Welcome to the arena of the supernatural. The supernatural is this always natural. Wow, I've heard that before. No, this is my introduction. That's how I introduce, I introduce myself and my guest speakers. You see, <laughs> today we have Bishop Espimson, my biological father, is going to preach to you. He's a great teacher, he's a prophet, he's a man of God. God is using him in these days. Wow, we are so blessed and privileged to have such caliber of men of God. A, a red breed. I'm not sure I the new breed, a red breed. You understand what I mean? <laughs> He's going to bless us tonight. And I know you're going to be blessed. He's continuing from the message we started preaching about Ruth. You know Ruth and Naomi. Mm. He's talking about us as the church married to Jesus Christ. As God is our husband, you know, through Jesus Christ. I'm telling you, he is a good elaborator, a good preacher, and a good teacher. Let me not say much. Let me allow the speaker to come and minister to us. Within an hour, we'll be done. And you're going to be blessed, I'm telling you. Yes, tonight you're going to be blessed. If you want to support this ministry, please continue to do so. The information is on the screen to support us. And I'm telling you, anything you need concerning these services or these live, these uh, broadcast, online broadcasting, please don't be afraid to contact us. The numbers are always on the screen. And God will bless you. If you need any prayer, we are here for you to pray for you, to support you, so that God will bless you. So tonight is going. To, we are going to be blessed by the servant of God speaking about Ruth as Ruth as being married. God Himself. We are married to God. You know, as Israel and God, Jesus and the Church. He is going to elaborate. Be blessed as you listen. The week is continuing. Please share, like and subscribe to our pages in our channel you know you're gonna be blessed with likes you're gonna mass issue my you my little bit share your own likes and your comments are going to go show you may god bless you as we continue thank you bless you now we 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 continue this is a sequel this we we continue from what we've been talking about last kubega gela Ruth is a picture of the African church. Moab is a picture of the African continent. We were born in a place that is kind of cursed. Because we worshipped gods so far away from the true God. We found ourselves sold as slaves. People came from other continents and took over our continent. They even took our parents, our fathers, our daughters. They took our, our sons and made them slaves in other countries. We became hewers of wood and throwers of water in our own continent. Even if it is our place, our continent. But we are still begging from foreigners. We look at this thing, uh, we don't understand why it happened. But I, I just want to show you something. Some people asked Jesus when they saw a blind man. They want to know why is this why was this man born blind? Was it because his parents were sinners or is it because he's a sinner? 
We don't know whether it was one of those two things that they were asking for. But let me tell you something. Jesus made it easy. He said, this man is blind. Simply because for us, we need to show the love of God and the power of God. So we are poor to show that God can provide for us. We are sick to show that there is healing power in the name of Jesus. We are lost so that we can show that God can bring us in the way. Everything that is a problem in your life, don't look for the reason why it is like that. Say glory to God. For the power of God is about to be manifested. There is no way I can see God can open blind eyes if there was no blind man. There, there would be no way we can see that God can take a person from 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 what what does Tembiso say from zero to hero. If there was no zero, there must be a zero so that we can take you to hero. So accept that thing and say, right now, I'm coming out of this. I'm saying like T.D. Jakes, eh? we are coming out of this. I can't come out if I'm not inside. I've got to be inside for me to be able to come out. Sometimes we must give a, we must give devil a, a clap of hands. Thank you devil for making me sick. Because tomorrow I'll be telling people God can heal. Thank you, Satan, for making me poor. For tomorrow I'm going to show people that my God can make me rich. His name is Jehovah Jireh. Rafa. Shama. Shalom. Bring confusion, devil. Just bring the confusion, Satan. Just bring it. For, for I want to see who Shalom is. Make me feel like I'm alone, like nobody loves me. Because you are giving me the opportunity to have a Shama God next to me. Make, make me seek Satan. Because if if you make me feel sick, Jehovah Rapha is going to be next to me. Let me, let me be poor. Let me be hungry. It's the time for me to, give, to bring down Jaira. He's going to come here. Make, make me feel like I'm dirty. Because it's time to call Sid Kenu down. For Sid Kenu is the holiness and the righteousness of God. Brothers and sisters, African people, don't fear the devil. You know why there is a night? There is a night so that we can see the sun coming and chasing darkness away. Darkness cannot stand where the light is. Darkness waits until the sun goes down. But the sun does not wait for darkness to, 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 to go away. The sun simply comes up. And then, the, and then the darkness must decide. 
For where there is light, there is no darkness. There is no relationship between darkness and light. So I don't care about the devil. No matter what he does. For I've got my God. I shall never leave thee nor forsake thee. I shall be with you till the end of time. He never leaves me alone. Sometimes he keeps quiet. Because myself at times I keep quiet. But if I am quiet it doesn't mean I'm not there. I can keep quiet and be with you. Maybe you, 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 you are used to Jehovah, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Sometimes there is no hallelujah, but it's here. Sometimes there are no goosebumps, but it's here. Because his word, he cannot break. If he says, I shall be with you, until the end of time. He means exactly that. Whether there is a hallelujah. He is there. Whether there is no hallelujah. He is there. Whether there are goosebumps. Sometimes we say Lord was there. For we felt the goosebumps. If we didn't hear the feel the goosebumps. God was not there. Hey God is always there. There is a religion. That carries their God on yeah, yes, yes, yes. That religion, you know. I hear, I don't know, but 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 I hear when they go to the loo. They can't take their God into the loo. So when they are in the toilet, they, they are alone. If there is a snake, snake in the loo, God, God is outside. But when I go to the loo, I walk says, with my God into the loo. He's always in me. He's always with me. He he shall never leave me nor forsake me. And I believe that and I know that nobody can tell me anything else. See, I want, I want you to get married to the God that lives inside you. Not the outside God. He worked very hard to get into your body. He was not able to get into our bodies. So he first got, built his own body. He prepared this wonderful body called Jesus. And then he went to the body that's called Jesus. Immediately he went into the body called Jesus. This body called Jesus was called Jesus Christ. Because Jesus Christ means Jesus the anointed. So he went up to heaven after dying and taking away our sins. And he said, I'm coming back. I'm going to be with you. I was with you, but I'm going to be in you. So he washed us. He cleansed us to prepare himself a body to live in. So he came on the day of baptism in the spirit. He came and lived in you. So there is a God living in me. Inside this body there is a God. I'm carrying a God in me. When the demons look at me they see a God. They cannot see a sea bomb so they've got to see God they've got to be afraid of me for I carry God God is inside me demons must be afraid why should I fear 
What man can do to me? Oh God lives in my body. Africa needs to understand that. Africa finally owned the look. No Satanist can stand before me. No Satan can stand before me. No false spirit can stand before me. I carry God. 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 We're getting married to Jesus. We're getting married to the Lord of Lords. Getting married to the King of Kings. The Alpha and the Omega. Oh. Oh. Hallelujah. As fell in pants. May we be seated, please. Oh, gosh. Oh, Lord. Oh, gosh. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Africa. There is no God who can stand before the Africa. If Africa carries this God. I have a child in, in my church. I call her Twiggy. Should I say she's thinner than my, my pinky? I take her out. Who's the thinnest here? He's the thinnest. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. The God. The God who created the heavens and the earth can, can fit in this puny little body. He fits into this puny little body. The God that is in here. Babuam. Sir. You see. The God that fits there is the very same God that fits there. <laughs> he fits in everybody. When they see 
They see, they see God. They get scared. One day I, 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 I boarded a bus. And I said, and I said on, on, on a chair, a two-seater chair. Let's call it seat because it's not a chair. And I opened my small Bible and I started reading. And my next door neighbor here started doing everything. <laughs> and I, I looked at him. I continued reading. I realized I'm not fighting. But the battle is in the spirit. Our spirits are fighting. I continued reading. I allowed the spirits to fight. And then he just moved. He moved. Stood up. I thought he was alighting the bus. But, but somebody right at the, uh, at the front had alighted and there was an empty seat. So a, uh, and when he, he was going to that seat, I saw the sign of his God. I said, my God is so powerful. He can sit in me and fight his battles and fight his battles. He said, the God that we worship we need to know him. Not afraid. I won't call you Twiggy, but you can sit down. There was, there was this, this, this model whose name was Twiggy. I don't know what her real name is, but she was. No, we don't say people are thin. What do we say? They are slim. What do we say? City Banjan. City Banjan. Uh, by a slim. So they, they are slim. Because if you say they are thin, you should be slim. Your Do you love Jesus? Amen. Do you know? Let's go back to Ruth, right? As we otherwise, other, otherwise, we won't enjoy the wedding, right? But every day, remember, Kumbula. this is the temple of God. Look at yourself. This is the temple of God. There, there is no temple without a God inside. If there is no God in the temple, it's not a temple. It's a temple because there is God inside. Even the temple of Dagon, it was a temple because Dagon was there. The only mistake they made is, is to take the God of heaven who created everything there is and put him in the, in, in the temple of Dagon. And he was sitting there. I don't know what mistake Dagon did. I don't know. I don't know what he tried to do. So God of heaven who was supposed to be trespassing in the temple of Dagon got hold of the head of Dagon. He, he, he pulled him down. He made him in this posture. So Dagon was praying all night. Praying before the God of heaven. They come in in the morning. They say, who, who did this to our God? For they don't know our God. They need to understand 
our God. <laughs> there are so many gods on earth. But there is only one God that created the heavens and the earth. There is only one God that can walk with his people from Egypt to Kenya. So they raised Dagon up. And Dagon said, What to Dagon? Is there a change? You see, some, some gods are not God. You put them on a chair. You make them sit on a chair. If tomorrow you'll find them sitting on that chair. You can leave them for a hundred years. They'll be sitting there. They can't move. They can't. So, my God, let me use this word, my God who is kinetic, who can move, stretches out his hand. Dagon can't move. The hand is coming. But Dagon can duck. Dagon can run. For Dagon is just a pile of, of, of mud. So our God, now this time he doesn't pull him nicely. Nicely. I mean comfortably. <laughs> This time, he pulls him very hard. One. He cracked his skull. His head broke. His arms broke. And he left him like that. They came back in the morning to check his God. They are God. Let me tell you something. We wake up in the morning. We find our God there. But they must come from their houses. And walk to where their God is. We don't walk anywhere. For he is inside your house. If you want to check your God is right there. Inside you. So. They go. Huh. My. God is dead. <laughs> Our God is dead. <laughs> Certain things are painful. Let's find the right God, right? Today we're getting married, right? Today we're getting married. That's why I, I brought my suit. Okay, take your bed. I brought my suit. You, you, you're going to get married, right? Hey, today, everybody's getting married. Everybody's getting married. Remember, Kumbul. we are not different brides. Asisi, asisi we, are, we are all one bride. I don't know whether you understand. Even your husband too. He's a bride. Na, you Your husband too. Um, He's a bride. Mako <laughs> to He's a bride. You, un you understand? That is why God has got only one wife. We are simply many members of one body. I've got a hand. I've got a leg. I've got eyes. Stomach. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we, 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 we are everything. Now Ruth comes. 
yes. I wish Nanda was there. I was going to finish the story because Nanda was sitting here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, sit. I don't know whether you can see me. Ruth comes. Ruth. And Boaz is heavily under the influence of wine. Now, I'm going to speak the apostolic language now, right? Because the Bible is the, lang is, is the book of pictures. Now, wine, wine is a picture of stimulation. Because because wine stands for the blood of the lamb. It stimulates you. Oil stands for the Holy Spirit. Now, this, 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 this woman now, she's coming to the one who is full of the Spirit. Pictorially, it's, 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 it's the Holy Spirit, but in the physical world, it's the wine. So she comes and sleeps at his feet. And then the man wakes up in the middle of the night. He's so scared. He says, who are you? Who are you? And then she says, I am Ruth. I am Ruth. The Moabite who has found favor in your eyes. I'm asking you to cover me with your skirt. What she was actually saying, she didn't come for, 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 can I just put it that way? She didn't come for sexual inter. This is a spiritual language. She's, she's lying at his feet. And then she's asking, cover me with your cover me with your skirt. So if you cover me with your skirt, you are actually covering me. Like the Holy Spirit covered covered the covered uh, Mary. And the Holy Spirit left a seed inside the woman. And that seed became Jesus Christ. So this woman is asking Boaz, I come from Moab. I come from nothingness. I come from darkness. But I have come through with the fallen from grace that, that mother-in-law of mine. And I came to I came to beg in your in your in your in your fields. I found favor. I found favor in your eyes. You gave me the right to 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 pick up leftover stocks in your Field. You even instructed me never to go to any other field. That told me you love me even though I come from Moab. Even though I come from darkness. But the things that you did for me show me you love me. I'm bold enough to come to you now. 
and ask for more favor because you said my, my righteousness has preceded me you have given me assurance that the glory of God is my rear guard you have actually told me I can have a relationship with your God because you told me that I deserve the protection of Jehovah if I deserve the protection of Jehovah then marry me I'm not going to marry anybody else. You're the only one who showed me how much you love me. Then I'm asking you to marry me. I want to be in an official relationship with you. And the man says, Oh, blessed are you, Ruth. Oh, my God. Me coming from prostitution. Blessed is me. Me coming from jail. Blessed is me. Me coming from selling drugs. Blessed is me. You said, Blessed are you. Your goodness is now Manji. better than the first one that you did. You did something very good when you looked after Naomi. But for coming to me, an old man, you don't run after young men. You come to the old man. And then he said, very significant word. He said, stay here until morning. Unfortunately, there is somebody who is nearer, who is a nearer kinsman than I. Now, I have to go and debate with that man. Listen to this. If you are a woman, you'll understand this. I don't know males will understand this. Because I understand it, you should be able to understand it. He says, remain here. Now, I'm asking Africa to remain here. Jesus says, remain here. Let nobody see you. There, there are times when you are coming to Jesus Christ. You don't have to make too much noise. You must keep quiet. He says, remain here. I'm going to speak to that man who's got more rights to you than I have. If he takes you, it's okay because I'm a man of righteousness. But if it doesn't take you, I will take you. If I was a woman, I'd be clapping my hands. If he says, he doesn't take you, that's what Kumeda is saying. If that man from up there doesn't take you, I'll take you. Already, I'll take you. Now he says to Africa, if the devil doesn't take you, if you, you've already said you want to come to me, so I'm going to deal with that man. I'm going to deal with that man. I will go right in public. I will deal with him on the cross. I'll bring everybody. For Paul says, he defeated the devil and disarmed him in the public place so that everybody can know that the devil has no claim anymore on us. 
should be we should belong to Jesus Christ. So Boaz says, I'm going to deal with the man who's supposed to take you because you were a sinner. Sometimes you had you you had you had what you call the covenant with the devil. You signed a, you signed a, a, a covenant with your blood. Some of us have given their children and their husbands and their wives to the devil just to get rich. Those are covenants with the devil. But Jesus says Africa sit right here I'm going to deal with him. I'm going to take you away from him. Sit right here I'm going to deal with him. I'll go to the cross I'm going to take all the powers and all the weapons. Amen. 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 Now we are getting the things from half up, upward now. Now in Canaan we've got land. In Canaan we've got we, we've got wine. In Canaan we've got wives. In Canaan our children are playing in a fast land. Now manje. The father of the prodigal son says bring me a white dress or clock things are changing things are you, you've been wearing clothes that are dirty can I tell you something you had the wings of a bird on your back that was a doorway for the devil to get into your body. I have to deal with that thing. But look here, there is the ring. Just remain here. Let me deal with this man. He goes to the cross. Boaz is a sign. This is how we greet. This means where you die, I die. Where you are buried, I will be buried. We have gone through, this is an agreement only. But when we greet each other like this, it's a contract. It's a contract, a binding contract. Where you die, I will die. Now Jesus wants a permanent relationship. He does not deal in in a temporary relationships. Some people are easily to say, hey, I don't love you anymore. Some tell a lie and say, my season with you is finished. We deal in permanency. What God has put together, no man can put asunder. You testified that Nanda taught and challenged Abazalwan. Where have you been Did you planted? say that? What, where have you been planted? Once you are planted and rooted in Christ, <laughs> rooted in Christ, that, 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 what you call the roots, the roots, yes, going down in you, if somebody pulls you out, there will be pain in you, there will be pain in Jesus Christ, you cannot just be pulled out of Christ, I am permanently embodied in grace in Christ Jesus. Sure. Sure. Some of us don't understand what a relationship is. A relationship is always permanent. It's a contract. Jesus signed the contract with his blood. And nothing can erase the contract signed by the blood of Jesus Christ. The devil can ask you to sign with your blood. What is your blood? It's nothing. He's just fooling you. 
Because we'll bring the blood of Jesus Christ and just wash your blood away. You see, you see the blood of Jesus Christ will, move, will remove your contract with the devil. You will become the daughter of God. Way back we had a subject which said with the topic says building a strong church. That's my, that's my life. Building a stronger church. I build you in such a way even if you live you will be a strong church wherever you go. You will be a strong church wherever you go. When I send you to Cape Town, you will stand for Jesus Christ. For you were rooted, planted in Him. Listen to the, the listen to the. Hey, it's a wedding day. I'm, these are wedding vows. Huh? These are wedding vibes. I am the vine. You are the branches. Hey, once you take the, the branch away, the branch that dries up, it dies. Because the branch has to have a permanent relationship with the vine. So when you marry God, it's not for a temporary relationship. It's a permanent thing. That's why we are going to get married. There is the real. It's so wonderful coming into church and knowing, I remember in 1979 I was running to the church something was burning in me and I know there is a change in my life I may not understand what it is but the power of love there is nothing so powerful than love the love covers all sins you don't have any grudges for love has no minutes Love has no secretary to write all the sins that you have correct, you have committed. Love comes with the ring. I don't care what you have done. I don't care what you have said about me. As long as you are back, we shall mend this day. We shall wash it with the blood. It shall be clean again. Even if your sins were, were red as, as scarlet, like blood. Huh? Once you see this, once you see this, Oh boy, you will drop oh boy palms. You will uzoshia isoge kelele. Once you see this, omo subona lok. You will tell this guy. Uzom jailum lis. What 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 was between us? Utai obe obe kusangansi. It's over, it's over. Somebody showed me this. Somebody told me, I have loved you with an everlasting love. We're going up there. Hey, what time is it? We're going up there. And the wedding is not going to be down here. We're going to be taken up to get married right on top there. We're going to get married. Drop every other God now. For the eternal God is coming to give you a ring. Drop every other God now. For the God of heaven is going to give you a ring. Hallelujah. 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 There is the ring. God is calling you to marriage. God is calling you to the wedding day. He goes. He deals with this man. He says, okay. You are the official owner of this, that land. 
But if you take them, take the land, you must take Naomi. You must also take Ruth, the Moabite. And this man says, Oh, let oh right, let me finish this one. And this and this man says, If I'm going to take Ruth also, the Moabite, this is going to spoil my estate. I'm not going to take Ruth. She's got a she's got a bad history. She was a Moabite. I can't take Africa for eternity. I, I wanted to destroy Africa. I want Africa to be nothing. But Jesus says, if you can't take them, if you can't give them eternal life, I'm going to take them. I'm going to wash them. I'm going to renew them. I'm going to regenerate them. They are going to be brand new. I'm a new creation. I'm a brand new man. All things have passed away. I'm born again. More than a conqueror. That's who I am. I'm a new creation. I'm a brand new man. Yes, I come from Africa, but a brand new man. Yes, I come from Chad, but a brand new man. Yes, Nangum Chagat, but a brand new man. Yes, I was a prostitute, but a brand new man. I've seen the ring. I have seen the ring. I'm sitting at his feet. He says to us, when you go home, take more stock. More millers. Yes, 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 you got the right way. Take more stock. Go and give to your mother-in-law. You're still waiting for the ring. But hey, you're still feeding on his, on his stuff. No, you haven't got the ring yet. You, you, you've just come and said, please marry me. You know, when you say, I receive you, Jesus, you are actually saying, Jesus, marry me. That's what you're saying. When, the, when we say, come forward, we say, come here and say to Jesus, marry me. You are actually shaati. telling God, I'm available. I want you, Lord. True. Let's deal with it. Take the stock and give it to your husband. There is a, a very beautiful verse at the beginning of the fourth chapter. Naomi says, Are you not I know this man. He won't sleep until he keeps his word. Did you hear that? Naomi says, I know this man. He will not sleep until he completes and fulfill his word. So Naomi knows that Boaz is not going to change. You are not married yet to him. But the mere fact he said sleep here, the mere fact that he gave you more than you deserve, he's telling you already we are in a covenant. But we will seal it with the ring at the end. But here is the ring. I'm going to keep it until I deal with the devil. Until I deal with all these things. And then, and then he really did so early in the morning. He was at the gate. He saw the man who is supposed to marry this girl. To take, to take the, the estate of, 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 of Elimelech. He said, sit here. He brought other men. Sit here. Brother, 
I need to take this girl. Are you going to take her? And she said, no. What's it I'm just shortening the story. He said, no. What's it he said, okay, I'm taking it. What's it he took off his sandal. He, he raised it up. He said, man of Bethlehem. You see, your marriage to Jesus Christ is not going to be to be. I walk from shadow, not just Christ or Zobanga says. Or Ah, you pull your feet back, eh? And he said, he took his hand. What is This is a, this is a sign. Lolu upau. That you didn't take Ruth. Lolu tau zang umta to Ruth. I'm going to take Ruth. Today, he's telling the whole city. Today, you are witnesses that I didn't steal Ruth. I, I will marry Ruth according to the law. I'm going to take Naomi. Do you remember Naomi? The one who said, call me Mara now. Is now going to move to a higher status. Now the Ruth that was afraid. Help me child. Thank you. You see. If Africa does this wonderful thing. You don't only help yourself. If you as Africa, as Ruth, stick to the God, the foreign God that is not your God, but you are married to him. You will, you will also help those people that have fallen from grace. Because when Boaz buys them, he buys Ruth. He buys land. And then he comes and buys Naomi. Naomi. You said. Don't call me Naomi anymore. Call me Mara. For God has, has dealt with me bitterly. But God did not deal with you bitterly. We were just throwing you into the plan of God. You are coming back with me. Come, Ruth. Who's going to be Ruth? Come, come, come. Be bongi. Come, come. Run. Oh, all right. Now, this, this is this is Naomi. And this is Ruth. They both come from darkness. But this one had been right on top there. And this one has been darkness for life. And this one fell from grace. And she wants to be called Mara Bita. But when this one gets the grace, grabs this one. And both of them go up. And both of them go up. There is a resurrection of Naomi. There is a, there is a marriage of, of Ruth. So even if Africa comes back to God, if Africa marries God, Europe will be married back to God. China will be married back to God. America will be married back to God. Simply because Africa is gone back to God. Whatever you do is not going to benefit you only. But it is going to benefit the whole world. That's why you got this digital radio. To bring back the whole world. Will you be able to stand up? For we are getting married now. Look at Jesus, right? Aspect with Jesus. We're getting married, eh? Yeah, Shadow Manji. Right in front of the people. Pam Guabant. There are witnesses. Uno Fagansi. With this ring. 
Sayeth Jesus Christ, I the word, not for six months, but for eternity. We are married, sayeth Jesus Christ. Now all of us are getting married to Jesus Christ now. We are marrying him now. It's a symbol. We are not going to change. Let's raise our hands.